Hello everyone and a very warm welcome back for another lesson. In this lesson I'm going to teach you about the present perfect tense. But before we begin please do not forget to subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up if you find it useful. Thank you. Now let us begin. To be able to use the present perfect tense correctly in writing and in speech, there are a number of rules that you have to ensure that you apply. The first rule is you have to use have or has plus the verb in the past tense. So you have to decide, am I going to use have or am I going to use has? And then you have to add the verb, but the verb must be in the past tense. So, the key features of this tense is that number one, you have to use have or has. And number two, you have to combine that with the verb in the past tense. So, the verb must be in the past tense. For example, cook, cooked. So in this case, you, you have to use cooked and not cook. Play, played. You have to use played and not play. So that is the first rule. Now, the second rule is, when do you use have and when do you use has? You use have with the pronouns I, we, they, and you. I have, we have, they have, you have. Now, look at examples two on the right. I have eaten, we have packed, they have slept, you have prayed. So if you want to use have, then you must combine that with either I or we or they or you. The next thing is you have to use has with the pronouns she or he or it or with a name of a person or a name of an object or a name of an animal so that you get she has, he has, it has. Okay? Jane has. That is the name of a person. Okay? The clock has. That is the name of an object. The animal has. So, that is how you determine whether you should use have or you should use has. It depends on which pronoun you want to use at the beginning of your sentence. If you want to use hi, I, then you have to use have. If you use we, then you use have. They have. You have. But if you want to use has, then you have to use it with the following pronouns. She has. He has. It has. 
okay? Or someone's name, Jack has. Or the name of an object. The egg has. Or the name of an animal. The cat has. Now, look at the examples three on the right. She has resigned. He has eaten. It has rained. Mary has slept. The dog has backed. Now you notice all the verbs in all of these examples are in the past tense. Look at examples one. Cooked. Played. Examples two. Eaten. Packed. Slept. Prayed. Resigned. Eaten. Rained. And you notice some of these verbs are regular verbs. A regular verb has ed at the end. A regular verb allows you to add an ed at the end in the past tense, like cooked, played, packed, prayed, resigned. So when it comes to irregular verbs, to change them from the present to the past tense, you simply add ed. But we also have irregular verbs, which you do not add ed in the past tense, such as eaten, slept. Okay, so what you have to do is you have to memorize. You have to memorize all the irregular verbs. There is no other way of learning them. You just have to memorize them. Okay, let us move on to rule number four. Use this tense to talk about something that began in the past, but it is still the same. So we use the present perfect tense to talk about something that happened in the past, but the situation is still the same. It has not changed. Yes, it happened in the past, but up to now, it is still the same. Look at example four. They have lived here since 1990. They have lived here since 1990. So, since 1990, they have lived here and they still live here. Here. So, they began living in this house in the 1990s, but they still live in that house. So, you are talking about something that began in the past, but it is still the same. And you notice in that example four, we have the pronoun they, so you combine it with have. And then you have the verb lived, which is in the past tense. Now, rule number five. This tense is often used with the following words. Just, ever, never, yet, already, since, for, lately, so far, up till now, for how long? So whenever you see these words in a sentence, if you're doing a test and you have been told, change the following sentences into the correct tense. When you see these words in the sentence, it is a signal that you should use the present perfect tense. It is a sign that you should use the present perfect tense. Look at examples five on the right. She has been ill since Saturday. 
So since Saturday, she has been ill. Her sickness began on Saturday. But up to now, she is still sick. Remember rule number four. Use this tense to talk about something that began in the past, but it is still the same. So her sickness began on Saturday, but right now she is still sick. She has been ill since Saturday. The next example, he has made a date with her. He has made a date with her. Okay, so he called her. He asked her for a date that was some time back, but that situation has not changed. Up to now, the reality is he has made a date with her. So they are yet to go for the date. Look at the next example. I have been sick lately. I have been sick lately, meaning that the person is still sick. It, it started some time back, but it started a few days ago, but she is still sick. Okay, now, finally, I'm going to give you some tips. Because a lot of my students ask me, when should I use the past simple tense? And when should I use the present perfect tense? Because both of them describe something that happened in the past. Now, that's a good question. And that's why I put tips number six and seven for you. That will help you know when to use the past tense and when to use the present perfect tense. Tip number six. Use the past simple tense to talk about something that has already happened. Okay, so if you want to talk about something that has already happened, it, hap it happened uh, in the past, it happened years ago, uh, use the past simple tense. Look at example six. I lived in London for 10 years. I lived in London for 10 years, which means that he does not live there anymore. Okay? Once upon a time, he lived in London for 10 years. That is where his home was for 10 years. But right now, he lives somewhere else. So, in that sentence, you are talking about something that has already happened. Because he does not live there anymore. Tip number seven, use the present perfect tense to talk about something that happened in the past, but the situation is still the same now. Look at example seven. I have lived in London for 10 years, which means that for the last 10 years, he has been living in London and he still lives there now. So the difference between the past simple tense and the present perfect tense, although both of them talk about something that has happened in the past, the difference is that with the present perfect tense, although it happened in the past, the situation is still the same. Nothing has changed. I have lived in London for 10 years. So the person still lives in London. But when you say, I lived in London for 10 years, it means that he has lived there in the past for 10 years, but right now he lives somewhere else. Now, if you want to know more about the past simple tense, I have made a video about that. Have a look in my channel and that should help 
you understand the past simple tense better, the rules um, that you need, and also um, the examples of when to use the past simple tense. But remember, do not be confused anymore about when to use the past simple tense and when to use the present perfect tense. In both cases, use the tenses to talk about something that has happened in the past. But remember, with the present perfect tense, you talk about something that has happened in the past, but it is still the same now. All right. Now, this brings me to the end of this lesson. If you have any questions, feel free to write the questions in the comment section and I will do my very best to answer them. Thank you very much and please subscribe to the channel. Just hit that subscribe button. That will encourage me to make more videos to help you improve in your English. Thank you very much and see you in our next lesson. Bye bye and take care.